Hi, Gene here with today's thought. Well, it's the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. I assume most of you, maybe all of you, maybe nobody's watching this because everybody's out celebrating 4th of July. So I'm just going to just share a fact with you. Joe Biden, he's finally hitting the campaign trail, trying not to screw up his, uh, you know, his sentences and trying not to trip and fall. And well, you know, good luck with that, Joe. Anyways, he's He's been, well, he's actually been using the phrase Bidenomics. He's trying, I guess, just ignoring what everybody with a brain knows or anybody with a job and a paycheck knows, which is that you are making less today than you were. Your buying power is less today because of inflation than it was when he took office, when Trump left office, because wage increases are not matching inflation. But he's out there proudly touting uh, Bidenomics, and he's talking about, first of all, the the quote-unquote disaster uh, that he inherited from Donald Trump. Uh, let's just remind everybody what that disaster was. 6.5% economic growth con- uh, compared to 2% right now, the last quarter under Biden, uh, 1.4% inflation uh, compared to, uh, I think the last figure I saw was like 5, 5%, something like that. And then definitely not 1.4 and definitely not gas at about averaging $2.14 a, a gallon when Trump uh, left office in my where I lived in uh, where I lived where I live in in Tennessee uh, it was as low as a dollar 86 a gallon imagine that anyways he's also been talking about how he saved the country from well trickle down economics that's a phrase they like to use it's not a phrase that Ronald Reagan ever used Ronald Reagan used the uh, um, he it was actually John uh, JFK's John F Kennedy's theory um, that if you lowered taxes, you would get more economic growth and it would help everybody. He said, uh, JFK, well, rising tide lifts all boats. And it does. Under Trump, the, the middle class, lower classes, minorities, their increases in, in income by percentage well, was higher than that of millionaires and billionaires. Obviously, if you make a million dollars and you get a, a 1% uh, increase, that's going to be more than somebody making uh, you know, 40,000 a year and getting a, a, a 5% increase. But the, the percentage is greater. And that's the point. Everybody did better under Trump's policies. So the, I want to get back, I keep digressing here. I want to get back to uh, Reagan and trickle down economics because Biden keeps saying, well, how, how bad it was. And I, t- I tell you, I lived through that. So I lived through the Carter years. If you want to hear, um, you don't hear about the misery index anymore. That was a very common uh, uh, statistic in the 70s when Carter was pres- uh, president, adding the unemployment rate and the interest rate together. So you have some, you know, 8% unemployment plus 10% uh, inflation and you get a 18 percent misery index so we're not at that point and the fed has really stepped on the brakes but they're hurting the economy to uh, uh drive down interest rates so interest rates are going down and inflation well the interest rates are going up but inflation is going down or the increase is uh, is is less but that's because the fed has been increasing been raising interest rates to offset all the spending and inflation caused by the the Biden policies. Anyway, just digressing again. Let's just go back. Um, I just want to give you the actual figures. The actual figures: GDP growth for the um, the, the Reagan presidency, with, through which I live. You can probably tell by looking at me. So the, his first, uh, the first uh, Reagan administration, 1982, 1984. Well, it would actually be 1983, 1985. The first average, you know, because he took office in January. Anyways, the point is, the first uh, Reagan administration, average GDP growth. This is from the St. Louis Fed, by the way. I'm not pulling these out of the, the number out of the thin air. 6%, 6.0%. And the second uh, Reagan administration, 5.0%. And if you put the two together and you average it, then you have... Um, 
then you have uh, uh, an average 5.5%, which is phenomenal economic growth. And so that's the number. And that's the highest economic growth we, we've ever had for an entire administration. So those are the numbers, 6.0%. First administration, uh, Reagan administration, 5%. Second Reagan administration, 5.5% for, for both administrations, the average. And... Um, I, I, when Biden talks about how bad uh, the Reagan administration is and only the wealthy did, well, did, um, did well, then he's either ignorant or he's lying. And unfortunately, with this president, the two are not mutually, uh, uh, um, mutually exclusive. And that's it today. That's my thought for today. Thanks for stopping by. Look forward to seeing all of you again. Have a great 4th of July. And until I see you all again, bye.